alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is Imam Shafi again. Of course, being recorded by Ibn Athur. Uh, we are here at Salam Academy for our weekly kids program. And this is third episode. Inshallah, today we are going to discuss arrogance, pride, and that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala doesn't like arrogance and pride. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make our words reach the hearts of our kids. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. USA. I didn't even say assalamu alaikum. I did not. I did. Can we start? Yes. Okay, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Beautiful and handsome faces. Good hearts, mashallah. Good voices, mashallah. You are very concentrating today. You are very calm. You are very quiet, mashallah. That is the quality of a Muslim. Now, first remind me what was our last topic. When I was here last, what did we share last? Now, yes. Righteousness and evilness. Righteousness and evilness. And a week before that, what did we share? Now, now. Admittance, mashallah. And a week before that, what did we cover? What did we share? Now, who wanna help? Who want to help? No. Wasn't it Oh. Remember the story of Mariam? Oh, yeah. Story of Isa? The other funny story, you remember? That? Inshallah, listen to me. I'm not going to waste your time. I'm not going to take time, any long time either. Today, this evening, Inshallah, we're going to cover what is called what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala doesn't like. One of many bad qualities which Allah, our creator, God the Almighty, doesn't like. There are things that Allah likes, He loves. And when you act upon, it earns you pleasure of Allah, love of Allah, and eventually paradise, right? And there are certain things which Allah doesn't like. Allah doesn't like, he hates, such as what we are going to discuss today. Now, when you cooperate, then I'm not going to waste your time. When you cooperate, when you don't cooperate, when you're making noise, when you talk to one another, when you don't listen, when you don't look at me, when you chat with one another, then it is a big problem, right? This may keep us here until Monday, and that's not good. So the topic for this evening is called pride and arrogance. Talk to me about pride. What is your understanding about pride? What is your understanding of arrogance? Who can define what arrogance is? Now, Bismillah ar-Rahman rahim Arrogance, pride. Ego, talk to me. Big, big ones. Big guys. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum there. Assalamu alaikum. Oh, okay. Arrogance and pride. Who can define this? And Salam Academy is the best in English. We know that. In the whole state, Salam Academy is number one. English, English, English. Now, pride, if you're proud of yourself, you're like, you feel good about yourself, but sometimes if you're too proud of yourself. She says that if you are proud of yourself, you feel good, but sometimes if you overdo it, then it's not good. 
Listen to my question again. And this is good for you. If you want to pass your math, sciences, right? You have to understand the question first. My question is, who can define the meaning of arrogance and pride? What is pride? Now, what is pride? What is arrogance? Because Allah doesn't like pride, Allah doesn't like arrogance. So if Allah doesn't like pride and arrogance, then you should know the meaning. You should know what it means. Now, who can define, who can explain the meaning of arrogance? Okay, I'm going to help you. Arrogance is a situation whereby you give your, yourself preference over others. You give yourself preference over others. I've already explained. Just wait now. It's my time. It's going to be your time soon. Arrogance is a situation whereby someone elevates herself. She or he raises herself above others. You think that when you talk, you have the best speech. No. And anybody else has no speech. You think that when you walk, you see how Imam Shaf is walking? Look at me. See? And I think that I'm the best walker. When you talk, nobody else is eloquent or influent than you. You think that when you put on your, what is that? Clothes or you wear shoes, you think that yours is better than ants. It is a situation of elevating yourself and raising yourself above people, and at the same time you start degrading and despising people. That is arrogance. You degrade people, you despise people. You look down upon others. You think that your house is the best. You think that your food is the best, not with intention of it's a good food or a good house, no, but with intention of degrading others. Somebody talks to you, you say, what are you telling me? I can't even listen to you. What can you tell me? Look, me? You want to talk to me? No. Somebody want to advise you. You say, what advice can I, can I, can I? What can you tell me? This is called arrogance. Looking down upon people because you have already raised yourself up thinking that anybody else is below, weak, useless. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala doesn't like that. Allah doesn't like now listen to this. The first crime to be committed in the heaven, you see heaven? The first was al-hasad. What is that? Al-hasad means envy. The second crime, the second crime to be committed in the heaven was arrogance and pride. The, the second crime to be committed in heaven by Iblis. Who knows Iblis? Who knows Iblis? Shaitan. In English, who is Shaitan? The second crime he committed, having envied Adam alayhi salam, was arrogance. Remember, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created Adam alayhi salam. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala instructed or commanded malaika angels to bow before Adam alayhi salam. This bowing was not bowing of worship. It was bowing of respect and honor. All angels <coughs> bowed. They bowed before Adam in respect to Adam, not in worship, because we only worship Allah, we worship God, not Adam, not Muhammad, not Isa, not Ibrahim. We don't worship prophets, right? But do you know that someone, someone refused to bow? Someone refused. Someone refused to comply with Allah's command. Someone refused to obey Allah's instruction. Who was that? All malaika bowed illa iblis, except iblis. Now, shaitan was not an angel. 
according to Islamic teachings, shaitan was just in the company of malaika, but he himself was among the jinn. Abba, he refused wastakbara, wastakbara, and he was arrogant. You see, wakana min al Arrogance leads to kufr. Arrogance leads to disbelief in Allah. When you don't want to comply with Allah's commandments, when you don't want to obey Allah, when you are proud and you start degrading people, you start looking down upon people, you know what happens? No. You have already joined no. shaitan. You have already joined? No. Because shaitan elevated himself. Shaitan gave himself preference over Adam, over the command of Allah. It was very simple. He would have bowed. Then he would have remained pious. But you know, he said, why should I prostrate to Adam, who is created from the clay, while I am created from fire? How is that? I don't know. Same thing that we are doing today at home. You want to give yourself preference over your brothers. You want to give yourself preference over your sisters. You want to give yourself preference over your neighbors. You want to give yourself preference over other siblings. That is very wrong. So, when you are arrogant and you start looking down upon people, you are following shaitan. You are following? Shaitan. Listen to what Allah says in Surah to Luqman. Allah says, Wala tu sa'ir khaddaqalinna. Surah to Luqman, ayah number 18. Surah, this is chapter 31, ayah number 18. Allah says, and do not turn your face or your cheek from people. What does it mean? When people are talking to you, look at what I'm doing. Talk to me. Greet me. How are you, mm. <laughs> Have you seen that? Yes. Yes. Say hi, Imam Shafi. Hi, Imam Shafi. <laughs> How is that? How is that? Okay, greet me hi again. How is that? How is that? How do you feel? Bad. Very bad. Very mean. Very weird. Allah doesn't want you to do that. Wala tu sa'ir khaddaqa linnas wala tamshi fil ardi marha. Also, do not walk through the earth, through the land, do not walk in this earth arrogantly with pride. Oh, some people can walk. Oh, some people can walk. You see this earth? You need to be humble. You need to be humble. You need to walk through the land with humility. You don't need to raise your... Some people walk, they think that the, the road is theirs. They think that the earth is theirs. They think that this life is theirs. Yeah. Allah doesn't want you to do that. No. Listen to this. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, لا يدخل الجنة من كان في قلبه ذرة من الكبر That whoever or whosoever has in her heart or his heart the size of an atom or the size of an ant of kibr, arrogance and pride and ego will never ever enter into paradise. If you have a very small fraction of arrogance in your heart that makes you to think that you are better than others and you start degrading people, you disrespect people, you degrade people, you look down upon people, you think that you are the best and you cannot take advice from people, you cannot be directed by people, you cannot be advised by others, you cannot be taught by others, then Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, لا يدخل الجنة that you will not be admitted in Jannah. Now, having said this, I want to hear from you. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala doesn't like al-mustakbirin, those who are arrogant, those who are pride, those who have ego, full of ego, right? So what is the opposite of ego? What is the opposite of arrogance? What is the opposite of pride? What does Allah love? Because we know that Allah doesn't love Kibri. Allah doesn't love? 
In Allah la yuhibbu kulla muhtalin fakhur. Allah doesn't like people who are arrogant. People with ego Allah doesn't like. How do you talk to people? What is the opposite of kibble? Salam Academy is good in English. Salam Academy is known in the whole state. What is the opposite of kibble? Now, humbleness. Exactly, humility. So when you talk to people, remember last time, we say that Allah doesn't like people who raises their voice, eh? And you are good, you followed that. Because before I used to say, Assalamu alaikum, you know how you responded? Allah doesn't like that. You change that now. Okay, now I want to try you. Assalamu alaikum. Humbleness. Humbleness. How do you talk to your mom at home? I'm not respectful. No, your moms are complaining. Your moms are complaining. Your moms are complaining. Some neighbors want to call cops because they think that it's fighting. Mom just told you, please go to the bathroom and take a shower. No, I'm not going to do that. Some of you don't even want to take a shower. A Muslim has to be clean. Okay, you are stinking. Your cloth is stinking. Go and remove it. You start a problem with your mom. I'm tired. I'm sick and tired of you. That is called arrogance. That is called arrogance. That is called. That is called pride. That is called ego. A Muslim should not be arrogant. When you advise to do something good, something which is beneficial, something which is good for you, you have to comply and you have to do it. And if you can, don't raise your voice over your mom. Don't raise your voice over your dad. Don't raise your voice over your teacher. Don't raise your voice over your siblings. Don't raise your voice over your fellow students. Be humble. Lower your voice. Lower your gaze. Be humble. Be nice. Talk to people with respect. Talk to people with kindness. Talk to people peacefully. Don't always be here. Don't be rude. Don't be nasty. Don't behave weirdly. No. Humble yourself. Humble yourself even when you walk. Humble yourself when you walk. When you talk, humble yourself when you talk. When parents are addressing your elders, when fellow students are talking to you, humble yourself. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves you in this world. Allah is going to love you in the grave. Allah is going to love you tomorrow hereafter. And I'm telling you, if you are humble and not arrogant, you have a bright future and good life in this world and tomorrow hereafter. Now promise. It is time for promise. Do you promise Allah that you're going to try your best to be humble? Yes. Do you promise Allah that you are not going to be arrogant? No. What does Allah love? Arrogance or humbleness? Humbleness. Can we make dua? Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen, salatu wa salam ala rasulihi kareem. Allahumma alif bayna kulubina, wahdina subula salam, najjina min al-dulumati ila al-nur. Allahumma ja'alna min al-mutawadzi'in, wa la taja'alna min al-mustakbirin. Wa sallallahu ala sayyidina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sallahu wa sallam. Wa alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Subhanaka Allahumma wa bihamdik, nashadu an la ilaha illa ant, nastaghfiruka wa natubu ilayk. Jazakum Allah khair for listening, you are the best kids. I don't go to any other school, I'm only coming. Because you are good. Are they your shoes? Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Again, Imam Shafi of the ICNM. This is Islamic Center of New Mexico, Albuquerque, USA. Alhamdulillah. The program went well with our kids. And uh, it seems that they understood. And this is a blessing from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We are promising that there is more to come in future, inshallah. We want to cover all kids, if possible, in the United States, but starting with our town in Albuquerque and then New Mexico. Jazakumullah khair. Let us educate our kids to, to understand Islam, to have Iman, to have Taqwa, and to be the future leaders of Al Murtaqul. Jazakumullah khair. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh, Imam Shafi, USA.